racing eyes. Also have some add-on items. All right, directly inside the front gate, gonna go inside and get my hat. Hey everybody, Tom here for Beyond Walt Disney Planet. I am visiting Riverbanks Zoo and Garden here in Columbia, South Carolina. My first time at this zoo, uh, they have a separate botanical garden that is included in the entry price. So I'm going to be visiting both of those two areas today. Going to be checking out all the animals. Looking forward to this. So let's get started. So just inside, you got signage on the pole here, let you know direction of certain animals. All right. So until I can find a stationary map, I'm showing you the paper map I got at the entrance. A big focus with this zoo is conservation, which is fantastic for any zoo. Some of the things that they do. That's the pole that has the different signs. You need to choose to go to the right. We pan around towards the center. Or you can go to the left. We'll start with sea lion landing. So I'm going to head to the left. Because if I circle around, it's going to take me to the entrance of the botanical gardens, which is to the right. So I'm going to start off a sea lion landing. Get a lot closer. So we're going to head up the ramp first. All right, so you can see I got my hat. I always get a hat anywhere I go to. If you're familiar with my channel, this is dual purpose. Helps keep my head from burning and also helps me with supporting the zoos or other locations that I go to. Gives me a nice cheap souvenir. Pass are usually under $25. So it's good for me and it's good for the place that I go to. All right, California sea lion and harbor seals. Quite a few of them in the water. All right, sea lions built for shore and sea. So they are swimming all around. All right, so we are down below in the underwater viewing area. A great view here. I'm all swimming by. They're gliding through the water. Now this is quite interesting. Plastic trash that is picked up and collected and made into sculptures. It's also a great learning tool. The damage of all the plastics we're doing to our oceans. Picture on the walls, Pier 39 in San Francisco. You can see all the seals chilling out on the boards. So you get a great view from down below. Nice curved glass tank. All right, Sabina Zoo also has a botanical gardens. Right next door, the landscaping here is fantastically nice. All right, so follow on the path to the left, come to the Bird Conservation Center. Got some signage up on the wall. They take care of all the animals and the birds, nutrition, but hand rearing. Artificial incubation. See one of the chicks hatched on August 11th. Coconut lorikeet. All right, directly across from the Bird Conservation Center, you got kangaroo walkabout. 
All right, so inside here we got a Tamara Wallaby. Got a red-necked Wallaby. And this lovely sun bleach signage for the red kangaroo. These two cute fuzzy little things here to Tamara Wallaby. He's getting a good stretch. Not allowed to approach the animals. Now we have to come up to uh, the guests. It's their choice, but we're still not allowed to touch them. Very, very cute little red kangaroo. All right, the redneck wallaby is in the back of these shrubs. She's got a nice little spot for herself. All right, got a laughing kookaburro. These are such cool looking birds. Very unique look to them. It's got a masked lapwing. There it is. Keeps running around. I was trying to get a good view. There we go. It's our masked lapwing. Got a Major Mitchell's cockatoo. Hanging out on the branch in the back of the enclosure. All right, coming up to the great apes. A nice statue of a gorilla. All right, gonna go inside the gorilla base camp. Right through these doors. So the gorilla residence they have here. Really nice habitat. And his inside viewing area is air conditioned, so on a hot day, this is a great place to come and relax up on the hill. Awesome looking animal. You can see their nighttime accommodations. Most well, animals will come inside in the evening so they are safe. My zoo is closed. All right, Riverbanks Conservation Outpost. We go through here. That red rough lemur. Hi, Fuzzy. There's some of them in the back. Come on out! There we go. The zoo just opened. A lot of animals are just coming out. Other nighttime accommodations. And some squirrel monkey. This is a squirrel monkey. Little oh, baby. A young and a little baby. These things are very fast when they move. This one hanging upside down, or just a moment ago he was. Yeah, there you go. Now we got a Matchy's tree kangaroo. All right, so tree kangaroo is up in its little cave here. I'll come back a little bit later see if he's out. We've got a Hoffman's tea toad sloth. Curled up. Taking a nap. Which is not surprising because this is what they usually do. They do sleep a good amount of time. We've got a white faced Saki monkey. Or Saki monkey. Oh, look at that. With the little, little one. Wow. These things are fast. He's trying to get a good view, but he keeps moving around. 
quite quick. The pre hizzle tailed porcupine. Some zoo staff in there with it. I should just introducing the animal to the habitat or they're trying to take him in for a checkup. Alright, golden lion tamarin. Love these little fuzzy things. Also very, very quick. Really, really long tails. And yeah, probably the most well-known species of the lemur. You got the ring-tailed lemur. You got several ring-tailed lemurs in here. Thanks to the Madagascar movies, most little kids and adults that have little kids know these animals. Additional information on what conservation at riverbanks. Alright, we come up to the next area. This outside back view of the gorilla habitat that we saw from the inside. So we got the mother here with the baby. Having a snack. Got the watering hole. Not a very, very busy day. It's a Friday. So a lot of the eateries around are not open. Maybe be opening later, I'm not sure. But giving you a look at the menu offerings that they have here. In case you come in a day where this is open. And all about the meerkats. All for one and one for all. Sound like the three musketeers. It's a good candy bar too. Got some meerkat. What's up? It's the only one I've seen this in habitat at the moment. Digging around. Hey! What's up? We have all sorts of places to go and hide. So I'm sure this is the only one in this habitat. Uh, we got two of them out now. This is right across the watering hole that's not open, so I'm guessing most visitors to the zoo today don't even realize these are over here. Right, do. I see you. Also, location for one of the restrooms if you were looking for that. Right next to the watering hole, right past the gorilla habitat. Now we're gonna see some elephants. I always like seeing the pachyderms. Conservation response units. This is just a portion of the elephant's habitat. You can see the water. So rhino habitat that's coming in 2020. Got a couple vultures. Got a cinnarus vulture. See a cinnarus vulture here. And a ripples griffin vulture. And a ripples griffin vulture. Alright, a Malayan taper. Alright, Malayan taper relaxing in the water. Like a long snouted pig with panda bear coloring. Yeah. How you doing? He's sniffing me. 
I smell you. All right, Babarusa. Now, the thing is with Babarusa is that he have a dental issue. You can see his tusk sticks up through the top of its snoot there. That's its upper canines. They start growing down and then they start to curve up, which pierces the top of their snoot and grows towards the back of their head. I think they heard me talking about their bad teeth and uh, they got offended. Sorry! You still love the looking piggies. Yeah, you can see these are very young because they don't got any teeth sticking through them. Most likely the females also. Got a Galapagos tortoise. Got two of them. The other one's kind of blocking its path. So how big its tail is back there. At least I hope it's its tail. <laughs> All right. So if this is going to become the rhino's habitat, I'm not sure what's happening to the elephant. All right, African elephant. You know this is an African elephant because of the larger ears. Asian elephants have the much smaller ears. Having some breakfast of hay. Oh yeah, hungry, hungry elephant man. All right, right past the elephants, you got cones. Also not open today. This is their menu. Now we're gonna African spurred tortoise. And it's right here next to this big pot. Blends in rather nicely. All right, reticulated giraffe. All right, giraffe overlook. And we got feeding. So you feed the giraffe pieces of lettuce. Stick your tongue out. Like, feed me, feed me. And here comes another giraffe. Let me come up closer to get some nice pieces of lettuce. Now, the lettuce is merely a snack for them, it's not their only food source. She last wouldn't fill these things up very much anyway. How are you? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hello. Hey, yep. Come right up. Looking for some handouts. Couple other. It's like a a youngster. Like it's coloring too, or spot pattern. Yeah, Sky High Safari. This has become very popular in zoos across the nation. The pricing. You're strapped into a harness. You go through different obstacles. You've got a nice rugged truck. Burbank Zoo Conservation Program. Alright, we got radiated tortoise. But quite a few of them in this habitat here. 
very popular tortoise. Several more along the fence, and then in the back, and one all the way in the back. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? How are you? You just relaxing? Yeah? Hope you have a good day. Bye. Alright, this large building here is called Tuskers. Alright, gonna show you the menu, got the beverages, kids menu, deli and salads. We also have from the grill and pizza. Get your tray, pick it up, and register. Lots of seating, indoor and outdoors. Indoor is air conditioned, it's nice for a hot day. Lots more indoor seating. All right, American Alligator. Home state of Florida has lots and lots of these guys. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Alligator is up on the bank. Getting some sun. So if you've never been to the state of Florida, most bodies of water, fresh water, streams, lakes, rivers, more than likely these guys are going to be inside of one of them. A big covered pavilion safari camp. You can rent this space. And the zoo has lots and lots of shade because it's built out into the woods. All right, Riverbanks Farm. All right, gonna check out some animals. Farm animals, it is. You pick up some animal food for the animals here. Pellet form. That's got Grandma's garden. All sorts of different vegetables and flowers. Oh, we're gonna go inside the barn and turkeys. As September getting close to Thanksgiving in November, bad time of year to be a turkey. But I'm pretty sure this turkey is gonna be good. I don't mean good as in eating. I think it's gonna be safe. This hair turkey is going to be pardoned by the zoo, you know, because they're not going to let no one eat this thing. Hi, turkey! Getting some water. Maybe we got some rabbits. And that bunny rabbit is hiding in its log. Get a couple bunny rabbits in here. Another bunny rabbit in this log. Nice black and white rabbit. Alright, alpacas! Get one just laying down. Another fuzzy alpaca here. Alright, goats! Any farm can have goats. And our goaties are outside. These are good sized goats. Trying to scratch himself. He's got a little underbite there. They go long ears. We got nearby nature. Look closely for these native animals that can be found on farms and in your own backyard. Got a southern toad. Just sitting there. Relaxing being a toad. Ah, green tree frogs. See how they stick to the glass. I've had these guys on my windows 
under my front storm door. It's good to have around your home because you eat little bugs. Mosquitoes especially. Got rat snakes. Here we go, rat snake. Well, these are non-venomous. As the name suggests, to eat rats. So if you have citrus trees in your yard or within your surrounding area of your home, most likely you're going to have rat snakes in that area. Southern part of the United States anyway. Got this nice looking sculpture here. Coyote with the bunny rabbits hiding. Alright, hand washing station if you pet the animals. Make sure you do wash your hands. I'll do that right now because I was petting them. Got another smaller goat species. We're all chowing down and the cafeteria there having some hay. Hi goat! That is how big is a pig? Alright, the farmyard. Alright, I'm gonna check out the farmyard train. Got some Vietnamese pot belly pigs. Very young pot belly pigs. Got two more in this little shed. Got wildlife up close. Presentations three times daily. Now we're gonna go in, get a good view of some of the other animals. I'm not sure what's in here. We'll find out. Give you a size difference between the average eight year old kid, chicken, duck, and geese. Cats and chickens. Taking away some seed. How you doing, Chicky? Where's that chicken? How you doing, Chicken? Hi. Hi, Chicken. Hi, Chicken. Ow! Goats get to walk up here. And a little chain lift. Put some food in the bucket. And you lift it up, and the hungry goats eat the food. That's why they're hanging up right there. Alright, lots of goats. You can pet the goats. You got brushes here, you can brush the goats. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Okay, we have a Nubian goat, which is the guy with floppy ears right here, and all the rest are Nigerian dwarf goats. Alright, what are these two here again? Sanin goats. The breed's from Switzerland. Oh, cool. And they're the most common type of dairy goat in the world. And the moment out the ears, is that normal? Is that the way yeah. they are? Yeah, they're born that way. Oh. Uh, they're a breed that was actually kind of created about a hundred years ago out west, and they took the descendants of the original brought here by Spanish explorers, mixed them with a few other breeds, and when they, they were looking for high fat milk, and when they got the milk, that was kind of the side of it. Oh. It's around four feet tall and weigh close to 300 pounds. Wow, it's a Nubian goat with the long ears. And these little goats are Nigerian dwarf. One of our common species you typically see in zoos. So this is the goat's timeout area. That doesn't mean that they're bad, it just means that they can get away from the people at their choosing. And go up to the top. Alright, you have a hand washing station here. Since I was touching the goats, I'm going to wash my hands again. So I asked the keeper, this is done for training purposes. There's one goat that knows how to turn the lever to raise the bucket and dumps the food out. I don't know if that's the one that knows how to do it. All right, gonna hop on board the Spots and Stripes Railroad. And you can see it takes to explore more credits. Here, chat. Instead of having to worry about paper tickets, you get this reloadable card at any of the locations. Choose which attractions you want to add to your card. Alright. Shape like a train. Do you guys have to explore more? 
but it's on wheels, not tracks. A short train ride. We have two of them. Only one running today. All right, kids, here we go. We get two loops on this thing. Very, very bumpy. Driver lady thought I was crazy going on this thing, but I assure it's my YouTube channel. She probably still thinks I'm crazy, but you know, that's alright. Won't be the first person to think I'm weird. <laughs> a lot of the trees around the zoo have lights on it. So it's either getting ready for their Halloween event or a jump start on Christmas. Very, very, very bumpy. There we go. Train crossing. Alright, and we are back. Hope everybody enjoyed the train ride. I'm from Florida and we got lots and lots of garden lizards, but I've never seen a lizard with a blue tail before. It's a wild lizard. Really cool looking though. Anybody know what kind of lizard this is? If you do, leave it in the comments. Okay, I asked one of the keepers. It's called a blue-tailed skink. They're all around this time of year, apparently in this vicinity. Do not have them in the state of Florida, so it was just something interesting I saw. All right, you see the map. I'm gonna head to the right, go to the, check out the aquarium. And then we're going to head to the left to see the rest of the stuff. All right, we got some king vulture. So we got two of them. I like the coloring. Especially on their heads. Look at that. Awesome looking. We also have a uh, tropeole. Hopefully I said that correctly. Very brightly colored little birdies. Quite a few of them in here, they're very fast. Alright, Toco Toucans. These are fantastic looking birds. Bright orange colored beaks. Uh, 
right, American Flamingo. This is cool. Usually I see Chilean Flamingos. It's like seeing the flamingos. Alright, Aquarium and Reptile Complex. This is directly behind the Harbor Seals. It's dead in front of the park. It's also a location for restrooms. You got Dippin' Dots and a food truck. Alright, I just picked up a souvenir refillable bottle. For $5.95 refills or $1.50. Alright, we're starting out in South Carolina because that's the state we're in. Now we got a timber rattlesnake. And I see some snake skin. And there's our snake. There's his tail. There's his head. Ooh, he's looking at us. Everybody say hi. Here we got a gray tree snake. Yeah, that's definitely a gray snake. Redo that. Yes, that is definitely a gray frog. Got an eastern milk snake. I'm not sure if this is all one snake or if there's two in here. All right, so this habitat has three different species of snake. Got a canebrake rattlesnake. That's this very colorful snake right here. There's the back end of it. There's its head. There you go, it came out to say hi. Very nice coloring. Got a pine snake. Our pine snake is out here. Got his head peeking out. Inside the mask. And we got an eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Something we also have in the state of Florida where I'm from. And that's this snake in the back. Now I think it's two different snakes. We got the Coastal Plain Pinelands. Now we're at a Carolina Pygmy Rattlesnake. There we go, snakey straight right here. All right, corn snake. He's got all his corn in there. He doesn't actually eat corn, he eats rats. couple of them in here. So you see multiple heads. That's still a whole lot of snake. Alright, copperhead. This is South Carolina's most common venomous snake. Got another one curled all up in the corner. Alright, coastal wetlands. Eastern Tiger Salamander. Let's see how it got its name. It all these like stripes on it. Alright. Alright, Eastern Cottonmouth. Alright. Got these snakes in Florida also. A sign here. Jump in. I want to jump in the swamp with the cottonmouth. Alright, Pine Mount Woods. Got an Eastern King Snake. This common snake lives in low wooded areas. You got Pine Mount Waters. Got Eastern Mud Turtle. A 
he had his mouth open. I guess I scared him. Sorry. Cute though. Alright, this tank has long nose gar. Also contains sunfish. Bowfin. And Gulf Coast spiny soft shell. So long nose gar up near the top. So the sunfish. Oh, and the next tank has rainbow trout and brown trout. Apologize for the reflection. But it's cool because the rainbow trout, their scales reflect the light. Gives them a nice, cool, glowy color. That's how they got the name uh, Rainbow. And here's a turtle. They're on the bottom. Alright, the desert next. Yeah. Alright, puff at her. And we got two of them in here. The one here and the other one in the back. Again, I apologize for the reflection. Alright, Galapagos tortoise. And we saw the large ones earlier. These are the young ones. Alright, we got a Grand Cayman Blue Iguana. Ah. Nice size iguana. Alright, sun and shade. Alright, I see these cool critters in a lot of different zoos. Gala monsters. Nice desert looking habitat. Got one in the back. A couple here on the bottom. Nap time apparently. Alright, spiny tailed monitor. Up on the plants. This guy's got a cool looking design. We got some geckos, we've got day geckos. So Malagsky. Alright, also we got some Malagasy leaf tailed geckos. Tail geckos are very easy to see. Got another one up on the branch. See the green gecko behind the leaf geckos. Kept missing them. I had looked by time the ones that are on the glass. And Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Look at all those cucarachas. Man. Got little beetles in there for them to eat. Got Sahara sand viper. And you see the how he makes the marks in the sand as he move through the sand. Get his head partially buried.